So just to gain a f- bit of further understanding, let me just explain to you the fractional part of x. At times, the fractional part of x would also be represented like this, x negative the floor of x, the floor function of x. So this is how they would represent. Okay, so you got it like this, right? Now, going further, it is also imperative to observe here that x is the element of all real numbers. Now imagine you are taking x to be as 3.64 and you want to find the fractional part of x. In this case it's going to be fractional part part of 3.64 which is equal to by formula 3.64 minus the floor of 3.64. Right, so this is equal to 3.64 minus the floor of 3.64 is going to be 3. So 3.64 minus 3 is going to be 0.64. So this would be the fractional part of 3.64. So having obtained that, let me just go still further. If x is equal to negative 3.64. 6, 4, and we are expected to find the fractional part of x. In this case, it's going to be fractional part of negative 3.64, which in this case is going to be equal to, from the formula, negative 3.64 minus the floor of negative 3.64. So what is the floor f- function? for this negative 3.64 that would be negative because of the presence of a negative for this it's going to be negative 4 so if you were to subtract this is going to be negative 3.64 positive 4 which is going to be 0.36 so this is the solution when x is equal to negative 3.64 and we are expected to find the fractional part of x So that is a very important uh, observation that you will have to take into notice. Now let us find a few fractional paths when x is equal to 1. So this would mean if we are asked to find the fractional part of 1, the formula is going to be, let me write it like this. The fractional part of x is equal to x negative floor of x. This is the formula. And we are expected to find the fractional part of 1, which is nothing but 1 negative. Floor of 1, which in this case is going to be 1. So 1 negative 1 is equal to 0. So the fractional part of 1 is 0. So that is a very important understanding you need to have. Now let me just take when x is equal to root 2. So this would mean the fractional part of root 2 which is going to be root 2 negative the floor. What is the value for root 2? Root 2 is nothing but 1.414 approximately right and we are expected to take the floor of this. So this is going to be root of 2 negative 1 which is equal to 0.414 so that is the value. Now let me give you one more example, say x is equal to pi, then the fractional part of pi is going to be pi negative, the value of pi is 3.14, so it's going to be the fractional part of 3.14 which is nothing but pi followed by with a negative sign and the fractional part is going to be 3 which is going to be 0.14 approximately. Right. So these are the few examples that I've given here for your understanding. So the given question which we actually started, we were expected to obtain integral 0 to 1000 e raised to the power of the fractional part of x times dx. This can also be asked as integral 0 to 1000 e raised to the power of x negative the greatest integer function or the floor function of x times dx. So This can also be one of the ways in which the question can be asked instead of this. So 
you need to be prepared for any alternatives.